Hello, and welcome to Sprockets. A game where you design and build your own tanks. Uh, we're doing a scenario where we can't go over, what was it, 75 tons? Because of the, uh, the trench warfare going on. Uh, so this is the tank it starts you off with. As you can see, it's a beautiful beast. Let's try it out. Oh no, we don't have a driver. Or rather, a driver port. So let's go to crew, view ports, let the driver see what's going on. Let the gunner see what's going on. And let the commander get in. Man, what? Did I not have one? Oh, that wasn't it. Which one was it then? I don't think it was the crew hatch. Hmm. Oh well, I'm sure it's fine. Ah yes, nice and slow. The default tank works. Now then, let's see here. Let us build. This number up here tells us how many, uh, tanks are going to be on the field, depending on how many resources we use. <laughs> it's not really an issue, though. So, first thing we need is what's missing. A gun. So, we'll just plop one here. Actually, I don't want it to be straight. I have a sudden urge to be artistic. Let's put it off to the side. And we'll go ahead and... Move these edges about. Let's not make it symmetrical. And come on. Give me that corner. Give it to me. Give it to me. There we go. No, I said don't make it symmetrical. I guess you have to with this. Um There's a lot of things I want to see added into this, like the option to have multiple turrets. Uh more than two sets of treads. Uh, but it is in early access, so hopefully that stuff gets added in. And we'll go ahead and cram that down. We'll go ahead and pull that all the way back. And since we don't have all that space needed anymore, we could probably pull this back, too. Well, now we don't have enough room for all the stuff, like people. So let's make this a little bit smaller. There we go. And now, oh, that's fish forced to aim the cannon. Ah, yes, it's permanently falling. <clears throat> so let's go into cannon, cannon, and let's see. We have a pretty big caliber. Yeah, so as you can see, this uh, blue line is extending or shortening. You want that to be as much in the middle as possible. <clears throat> Really, the shell length will help with that? Okay. Didn't think it would. Problem is, that's going to make the reload time longer. Five seconds. Assuming everyone's okay. Speaking of, is the crew fully staffed? They are. <coughs> Excuse me. You know what? The commander can also shoot. We don't need this guy. So we'll make you the loader and just remove that one. There we go. Turret hold turret. Alright, so that should make it a little bit lighter as well. Let's see. And make the caliber just a little bit. There we go. Oh, that's perfect. Now let's try. Insufficient force to aim cannon. Add a bigger motor. We'll make the cannon more balanced. Well, I mean, it's pretty balanced already. I'm more worried about the motor. So let's see, we have one other tank on our side. Alright, let's see if this hunk of junk can make it. We're just gonna get stuck in the mud. That's cool. Very nice. Turn. 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 Now go forward. No, forward. 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 All right, we are effectively stuck. We did it. 
Alrighty, so if that's gonna be a problem. So you're telling me we're too heavy, even though we're only 30 tons. Uh, we don't want to mess with the ammo count. Uh, we got enough of that. So let's try mobility engine. Uh, if we can make the placement a little bit better. Okay, so we're going to have to make more room. But that won't be an issue because we just shrank it down. There, already we got the room. That's fortune or force. <laughs> Hmm. Sufficient force, really now. Uh, I didn't see this problem before. Hmm. I really don't know how to make this work better. Oh, apparently that was all I needed. All right, let's -a go. Are we going to get stuck in the mud again? We got one other tank with us. I am pushing left, and we're going right. Alright, I guess it's just got to stop to turn. Ah, perfect tank design. Also, if I turn too much, you can't get out of the hatch. Oh, this is a slow-moving turret. And it looks like one of our tanks already got stuck. Lovely! And now we're putting too much power into the engine. Even better. We aren't gonna make it. And... Our engine's gonna pop before we can get there, and he's not turning right. So this is lovely. This game is fun, but I find myself spending more time playing around with the gears and shafts and engine more than the actual tank design. So... Let's load... What I made earlier. Tiny box. Obviously, it's not going to work properly, but with certain things clicked, it will. Ah, there we go. All that speed. That turning. Is so much better. This is smaller than a person. This has to be remote controlled. And because it uses so few resources, we have many tanks on our side this time. Lots of tanks. So we just gotta keep going forward. And we are at the trenches already. Now one downside of this thing is it's super light. To the point where it literally has no armor. So even, I'm pretty sure even small machine gun fire can take it out, let alone uh, artillery cannons. So we just pass this. This is why there's a weight limit. If you're too heavy, these break. And it broke anyway! Great! So we're going to abandon this and go into the next tank. So now we got to find another bridge. There's one right there. Now we just got to cross this and hope that one doesn't break. I don't think you can get a tank any lighter than this to still operate. Oh, shell shock. Really? 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 That's not... Well, I guess we're just gonna have to ramp. Whoop. Oh, it almost worked. Okay, uh, that was terrible. You all failed. Let's try my metal box from earlier. Just heavy armor, small in size. And, uh... Oh, why did it do that? It keeps doing this for some reason. Every time it loads the model, it shoves these down when it's not supposed to. Really don't know why. Okay, now let's try. Now we can move. Short, stubby thing with massive firepower and quite the reload time. 
Uh, it has a problem with overheating, despite its uh, small size. Let's see if we can uh, reach the trenches with with the metal box. I just like putting a bullseye on the front. Let the enemy know where to hit. And I forget how many tanks we get with this. Probably none. Because it has so much armor. Despite its size. And we're getting stuck. Alright, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah, you can see the size compared to the shovel and other tools. How small this tank is. It's not realistic. Alright, tank, keep moving. It might be too heavy for the uh, the bridge. It's got a low profile, so I like that about it. Just this massive cannon. Uh, hmm. That's a lot of artillery. Did he just blow up the bridge? I hope he didn't. I need that. Let's have a little fun. Fire! Alright, ten seconds to reload. Classy. Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. Ha <laughs> ha! He blew up the bridge, but we survived a direct hit. Ah, yeah, it's definitely not, not a legal tank. Um. Well, if little box didn't work, let's try big box. Ah, yes. 75 tons. Of course. Uh, let's do one of their pre-mades. The Model 1. Let's try this. So these are pretty nimble. It's got fair armor for its size. It shoots pretty quick, too. Of course, that means it has a much smaller caliber. We're also able to field a lot more than just one or two. So we're just going to move on forward. I hope our little friend here doesn't ram us. And just be on our merry way. And since we got this thing at the back, maybe this time we can pass the trench. <laughs> oh, excuse me. And we're slowly getting there. Any time now. Eventually. Hmm. We are probably gonna make it. Almost there. Now we're at the trenches. Now, how many of you want to pass this time? Ah, there goes another wave of artillery. Now, is it going to break? No, but I'm going to break. My loader has been damaged. Uh-oh. Taking two hits instead of one. Ah, stop shooting my loader. I need him. Stop. Who's going to reload me if he's dead? Stop. I don't even see them. Stop poking me. Can we cross this bridge? Yay, two bridges crossed. So... Yeah, it's still three seconds. So our loader's still put up a fight. Oh, they hit our engine. That's lovely. Oh, I think I see some artillery. No, that's a tank trap. Let's try to not go in the mud. That might not be a good idea. Oh, and he's dead. And this guy's stuck. Under no pressure, he lost. Wow, a lot of these guys are getting stuck. Okay. And we're going to give this guy a chance. And then it's back to the drawing board. Oh, and that's going to be much sooner than I thought. There's the tank. Can we shoot him? Yes, we can, but it didn't do anything. 
Let's see, it helps if we hit him. And fire. Fire. I don't care if you're dying. Keep shooting it. Uh, I have terrible aim. Let's see. Oh, we hit him. I don't think it did anything. And our driver's gonna die. Our driver's dead. Our loader's dead. No one else wants to do anything. Alright. So that just happened. So... Knowing that this doesn't work... Maybe the problem is we have too much armor. So let's remove all this armor. And we don't need to see at night. And they don't need to get out. And we don't need to vent that. Or that. We don't need to be towed. We need to move. That doesn't help us pass the trenches at all. That just adds weight. Now then, let's see here. We don't need another emergency hatch. Get rid of that. So let's see if... Small and stubby doesn't work. Maybe big and powerful. So we'll push this forward, pull this back, move this up, and pull these out. Yeah. Look at that. We're only eight tons. We can keep going. So we'll just keep going so we could just bypass the trenches even if the bridges are gone. Uh, maybe a little bit more. Yeah. And then... You know what? That might be enough. And just because we have the potential, let's go ahead and offset that a little bit forward. Give it a better gun. Firepower. Not too worried about that. I just want the color to be a little bit better. And we'll go ahead and give barrel better length. There we go. Now we gotta take that and cross the trenches easily. And all it took was all of our armor. And we can still turn. And one second longer to reload, but that's fine. I don't see as many tanks on the field. These chunky boys better make it. Kinda wish there was a fast forward button. Ah, uh, let's see. So we just need to go forward. And forward and forward. Maybe I'll call this tank the bear pack. Because it's just so naked. It's literally just a rectangle. Or maybe it's a trapezoid. Uh-oh, we're getting stuck. Why are we getting stuck? Come on, turn. Why are you going backwards? I'm telling you to go right. Okay, so maybe if I go backwards and right? Okay. Some weird going on around here. Keep going forward. Come on, come on, come on! Forward! Go! Gotta go forward! Incline's not even that steep, just go! Uh... Failure again. Alright, so clearly that's not enough. Let's go back to ability engine. Since we have the space, might as well try to get this more power. And let's see. I'm not sure what all this means. Let's try a heavy? So this is underpowered now. Max is two. Can't remember someone saying you gotta go about half. So that might be enough. It's severely underpowered. I don't see how a bigger engine will make it slower. Uh, okay, thanks. That's that's the view I love to see. 
Yeah, this, this is the part that I don't like. You get stuck doing all this rather than just going. Like, I understand it wants to be realistic, but this is my uh, biggest grief. Spend more time with the tracks and engine than the actual tank design. Um, so I'm trying to skip that as much as possible. Gunners won't attach. Weird. Anyway. We just need more power. So if we do this... And now we got some mobility going. But is it enough? I don't think it's going to be enough. Why does it say we only have one engine? We should have two. Why does it say we have one engine? It's freely underpowered, average. So we'll give it max displacement. Now we're very fast. Uh, oh, let's try that. It says we should be good. And we're already overheating the engine. The RPMs are too high. But we are turning well. Now let's see. There's some big boys. Can we reach the trench this time? At a whopping four kilometers per hour. Everyone will fear us as our engines burn before we even reach it. Oh, we're gonna... Oh yeah, we got over the hump. Okay. Alright, now to hit the turbo button. There is no turbo. Uh, we'll get there eventually, boys. Don't worry, assuming the engine doesn't burn. Oh, this is gonna take a while. Almost there. Stay on target. So this is roughly where the other tank failed. So we are we gonna pass it or are we gonna burn before that happens? Oh, we're drifting to the left. Still don't know why. Oh, the engine's red. Oh, now we're drifting to the right, and I don't know why. Oh, the engine does not like this minute incline. over the incline, but we're nowhere near the trench. Oh, wait, no. We're still inclining. And the engine is orange. It was yellow. And we're still going at it. Eventually we'll make it. Eventually. The sad truth about tanks is that they're not terribly fast. At least the older ones. Oh, and we got it. Or we can even see anyone. There's that one over there. Can't even name up. Can't even name up. Oh, yep, there it went. The engine broke. But we can still shoot. Can we take a pop shot? So that doesn't work. Let's load up another tank. Panther is only 50 pounds, so we could do this? Let's try it. Heavy tank, pretty fast, pretty mobile too. It's got some good turn ratio. And for the turn uh, turret. But it looks like we're gonna be the only ones. 
All right, so we're just gonna get pummeled by everything since we're the only thing on the field. But hey, at least we made it to the trenches already. But are we gonna break it? Here's the question at hand. And they broke, but it didn't matter. We passed it anyway. Interesting. Let's watch out for those holes because I don't want to get stuck in those. Try to pass this again. Will it break? Yes, but we pass anyway. The Panther succeeded. Now we're on enemy lines. Now, can we hit something? Sure are hitting us. There's a thing. Uh, and we're stuck. Hmm, maybe if someone paid attention where they were driving, this wouldn't be an issue. Well, that's a shot. So, I got a better idea. When we just focus on tank design. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to load up the Panther because it's got a pretty good engine thing going on. And we'll just improve this. So first thing I noticed that was wrong with the Panther is that it can't see very far. So we're going to fix that. There we go. And make it a little bit more chunky here to give it more armor. Because I noticed it's kind of lacking in the armor department. It, and we also got stuck in those trenches. So let's make it a little bit wider. There we go. Or not the trenches, but the hole. And I'm not a big fan of this rear slant. So let's fix that. Make it more uh, symmetrical. And that's the size we can go. So now let's go to the turret. And the turret's pretty flat, so let's make it a little bit more angular. That way the uh, captain can see even further away. Uh, we're going to pull this back right over the vents. And we're going to change the gun. We're going to keep this style of gun, but we're going to change a few things about it. So, where was the... Here we are. We will use th this one, and we'll make the length better, and we'll make the caliber perfect. Shell length will be perfect. Um, that's right. We do need to do this. Got to pick this up and make it bigger so it's more appealing to the eye. There we go, and go back to cannon, let's see, starting thickness max, make that almost maxed, and make that length better, we do need to make that a little bit smaller so we can see the difference, and we should be good to go on that. Now let's see here. It's got too much weight going forward, so... Hmm. We need more stuff in the rear. So firstly, we need more ammo. Not only the best for us. And let's just test to see how this works. Oh, it works nicely. And even though it's heavy on the front, we can still move it up and down fairly well. So let's test it on this tree. Oh, it's uh, over a minute to load. So while we don't do that and wait forever, let's fix up this base because it's looking a little off. So we'll go to the hull, we'll move this back a bit, and maybe a little bit lower, a little bit more incorporated into the design. There we go. And we'll go ahead and move these up. 
And let's make them big boys, just like the turret. Go big or go home, as they say. And... Can we make this bigger? Oh, we can. Everyone knows you need a really big wrench. And everyone else knows you need a really big shovel. There we go. Now you boys are ready for war. Uh, let's see. We are missing something important. Ah, I know what it is. I know what's wrong. We aren't long enough. So if we do this... There we go. Now let's pull the turret back a bit more. There we go. Ah, yes. Much better. It reminds me of something... Like a mouse. Alright, so we can still move. We're a bit slower, but that's okay. Oh, silly me. I forgot one very important detail. Armor. Um... You know what? Let's make the armor just perfect across the board. All the armor everywhere. And then we're going to have to do the same with the turret, because... You know, we don't want our gun breaking. Not too worried about the ring. The ring's pretty hard to hit, just like the, uh, the roof. And... That should be good enough. And look, we're only over 200 tons. Ah, yes, we're a little bit slower, but we're okay. So, let us spawn in something... like the Model 1. Oh, look, he's trying to fight us, and he can't. All that delicious armor. Now, then. Now we just gotta wait a whole minute before we can open fire. One minute remaining. So, little guy, how's your day going? I'm a slow but gloriously heavy tank. Yes, yes, I know, you're envious. My caliber's almost five times bigger than yours. But hey, it's not the su- oh wait, are you stuck already? Hmm. Even the little one gets stuck. So, I'm gonna have to aim a little bit more. Oh, can't aim lower. Okay. That may be a problem. So let's see. He's going to move into range. How lovely. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Fire. Fire. I missed. <laughs> I missed. How did I miss? He wasn't even moving. I... Uh, why is my aim so bad? Oh boy. You're so small. So now we gotta wait a whole minute before you load. But you're not gonna finish me off. So let's try our tiny box model. I wonder if I can just run over it. I don't think I'm going to be able to catch up to him. He's just too fast. Hmm. Size-wise, he should be about the size of a person. No, I want to turn that way. There you go. Alright, time to run him over. It's faster than reloading, apparently. Can we? No? Okay. Hmm. So now we gotta back up. And in five seconds we can open fire! Uh-oh. Are we getting stuck in the trench? Okay, well now we can fire, but we don't have the right, uh, 
situation. Am I gonna kill something? Nope, still too high. What? Alright, so... I just need a bigger target. That's the problem. So let's go with the big bucks. There we go. A nice big square. Ah, lovely trees. So we just gotta push forward. His caliber should be about the same as mine, so we actually don't want to get hit this time. Oh, he's actually turning in time. Uh, that might be a problem. But it's okay, we're faster. Just barely. I won't even have to aim this time. Not that it matters, because I can't aim to begin with. And we got 15 seconds to wait. On the flip side, he too needs to wait that long. There we go. Now he's just stuck spinning. And... Oh, that wasn't 15 seconds. Still gotta wait. And wait some more. Now we're at the 15 second mark. Now his weakest armor should be at the joint. Wow. He still didn't penetrate. Okay, let's try this. I am not waiting another 90 seconds to try again. Okay, the first target I hit survives. So let's try something a bit more modern. Oh, hi. How you doing? Uh, he's a fast one. Oh! He... He killed me. One shot! Well, there you go. The not mouse versus several tanks, and clearly it just can't hold up against modern tanks. This is Sprocket. There's a lot of potential here. Um, it's a little restricting, but it is an alpha. Uh, or beta, so hopefully that uh, changes in the future. Well, obviously the beta part, but I meant more along the lines of the restrictiveness. Uh, am a little stuck on the wheels and engine. I'm sure there's a way to understand that better, if you know what you're doing. I don't. I'm more in, uh, interested in the actual tank designs. So, yeah. It's, uh, it's only $20 on Steam right now. Go try it out.